it's a pleasure to be with you. It would be much more pleasure to be physically with you, but uh, that's the situation. And uh, so I don't have a fancy uh, TV studio, just one camera. I hope uh, you can see and to hear me and you can see what I'm going to present here on the mat. Now, obviously this cannot be a show Nobody is, is, is here, or you're, you're far away. So it's going more of, of, a, of a discussion, of a, yes, a, a presentation, a, a talk about things that um, I hope you will find interesting. I have a, a big menu here. It's like a big buffet. Uh, I, maybe we won't be able to eat all of it, but uh, I start <laughs> on the top and run through it. As Brent said, if you have any questions, I'm very happy to stay a little later. We're trying to shoot for a, for a little hour, then a break and another hour. And for those of you who are still awake and have time and who written down questions, um, I'm happy to answer them at the end. Okay, so let's, uh, let's start at the beginning, if you like, with a little performance piece. Now, uh, I don't know if, if you ever wondered why do cards, why do cards, decks, always come in pairs. Now, typically it's, it's red and black, right? Or they come like, like, like this in a nice little boxes. It's always two. And here is here's one from uh, Fournier, which is the, the Spanish card uh, manufacturer. And it is said that cards might be influenced to come from uh, chess, chess, which is a representation of civilization. So, uh, cards are a reflection of, of the universe and life. And my theory why this is two decks is that they represent the duality of life. Yeah? Earth and heaven, good and evil, uh, day and night. And above all, uh, reality, our everyday and imagination. And uh, let me show you here, I have a, in this pack, one, one deck, but we can see that here, one deck represents reality. And the other deck here, well, it's, uh, there's nothing on it. It's, uh, it's imagination. It's for the imagination. And uh, if you were here, I would, I would show you the, the cards. You, you could touch them. This is, is a, a deck that is white, unprinted, totally innocent, same thing on the, on the other side. So you could, you could really touch if you were here and look at all the cards up to the very end. So I'm going to take a few, one, this is one going to put that here and one is over here going to put, well, actually we need about a, a magic number. Okay, magic number, a magic number is seven. So let me see, can you see this all here? One, two, three four, five, six, seven, seven. And as I said, you, you can touch, you could look at them. Uh, even if it's summer, sometimes the cards stick together. Now they, they don't stick, these don't stick together. So they're real cards here. Now in the real world, if you want to fulfill a desire, a wish, how would you do that? Maybe with influence or with, with money, but a magician, we magicians, we do this differently. We have uh, something special, the magic wand. And I'm, I'm going to draw, which side shall I draw it on? The, the one which is empty or the one where there is nothing on it? Nothing on it. Okay, I do that, okay. So, so I'm, I'm going to draw a, a magic wand. Look at that here, like this. Of course, it needs to have tips. The tips, like my friend Mike Perovich once told me, always have to be white. There you are. Here is the magic wand. And we have, this is are the little magic sparks. They are going to confer the power to the magic wand here. There you are. And with it, I can now project uh, my, my wishes onto, onto the cards here. And of course, like an orchestra leader at the beginning of the evening, I will wish for my musicians, professors, and uh, instruments. And in this case, I will wish for the magician's instrument, I say one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven 
all the classic instruments of the magician coins, cards, mental waves, cups and balls, dice, rings, and of course, a rope. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the beginning of tonight's magic show. There you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good. So it's it's as difficult for you as it is for me. <laughs> We're going to pretend that you, that you like that. So here is, <laughs> I'm going, and, and now of course the show starts because uh, anyone, for instance, you, sir, you can now decide how this show, tonight's show is going to start. So should I start with a, a rope, with a piece, with rings, dice, etc., etc. Okay, so I'm going to break it here because I said this is about ideas. It's not, the show is not the important thing tonight. So I'm going to discuss that and it's uh, for didactical reasons better I'm breaking here and I'm going to make some comments on that so that the performance part and the explanation part are closer to each other and uh, you can remember